Hey, kiddos, time for the daily bread. We are getting in the Genesis chapter 38 today and learning more about Judah. And boy, is it interesting. So let's hear today's track. Daily track 765, Genesis chapter 38, verse 1 through 4. About the same time, Judah, descending from his brothers, turned toward an Adalmite man named Hira. He saw the daughter of the man called Shua of Canaan, and taking her as a wife, he entered her. And she conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Ur. And conceiving offspring again, having given birth to a son, she called him Onan. Kids, so today we start learning about Judah, and he takes a wife. Um, so it's, it's important to understand why are we talking about Judah? Because we know that um, Jacob had 12 brothers, or 12 sons, I mean. And so what's so special about Judah, right? He was the fourth born son. It's not like he's the first born or the last born. What's special about Judah? Well, Judah is in the line of Jesus. In other words, someday, so Jesus, Judah is Jesus' is a great, 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 great grandpa, okay? So that's why it's important to understand. And what's amazing is that how all this happens. And so today, um, nothing is too crazy, right? We learn that he takes a wife um, whose name's Shua, and they have two sons so far, all right? So the first son they call Ur, and the second son they call Onan. And so, again, what's relevant about this is who's going to be the next son that will be a part of the line of Jesus? Will it be one of these two sons, or will it be someone else? And that's what chapter 38 kind of in Genesis um, does is explains all the, the craziness because it's going to get crazy here. So we'll have to learn uh, some more tomorrow. God bless. I love you.